Rachel Botsman is a renowned trust researcher, author, and speaker who has extensively studied the role of trust in the digital age. In her talks and writings, she often emphasizes the dynamic nature of trust and how it has evolved in response to the rapid rise of technology and online platforms. What is trust or defining trust is actually one of the hardest questions. I think it's a funny thing that it's one of those words that we use a lot every single day without always thinking about what it really means or how it works or how important it is in our lives. And the interesting thing is when I started reading about trust, um, I was struck by how a lot of people think of it as around certainty and confidence and faith. And it's actually the opposite of that. Like if you know the outcome of something, um, if there is no risk, no trust is required. And so the way I define trust is that it's a confident relationship to the unknown. And when you think of it through this lens, you can think of it as the bridge between something certain and something uncertain. And that allows us to place our faith in unknown people, unknown products and services, unknown ideas. It allows us to be vulnerable. It allows us uh, to place our faith in new innovations for society to move forward. So the way trust works in that it is this almost magic elixir or this social glue between the known and the unknown, that's stood the test of time since man was man. And the way we actually place our trust, the way we decide someone is trustworthy, there's a science behind that that has stayed consistent. But what's happened is the tools that we use to assess people or where we give our trust has become more and more accelerated through technology. Now that can be a really good thing in that it's enabled all these innovations to flourish, it's enabled marketplaces, it's enabled people to collaborate and connect in ways that we've never seen before. But we're also starting to see the consequences of people giving their trust away too easily. Whether that's a problem, it's a really tricky question because humans in a wonderful way are naturally trusting human beings right so we often give someone our trust until they break our trust um, and so you could argue you don't want to say to people you should become really skeptical or mistrusting but there is a degree of skepticism there is a degree of friction if you like that is really healthy in society and the efficiency that technology creates can be the enemy of trust so what technology does is it often puts us in this almost automatic mode and we all do it, right? Like sharing an article based on the headline without reading that article and looking at the source and looking at who wrote it, that's in a form of accelerated trust. And so I think technology and technology companies, they have to be thinking, of how they actually introduce a little bit of friction, just a little bit of friction into the product or the service so that people slow down. And they say, do I have the right information to decide whether this person, this thing, or this product, or this company is actually worthy of my trust? And so this is this idea I call a trust pause. Um, and I think many companies are, are quite frightened of that because the whole talk around technology is, you know, frictionless and speed and make it as accelerated and efficient as possible and seamless as possible. So it's a really interesting design, but I also think it's an ethical challenge for companies because they know how to do this. There are several key points that Botsman often highlights when discussing the dynamic nature of trust in the digital age. Shift from institutional trust to distributed trust the digital age has seen a decline in trust in traditional institutions such as governments, banks, and media. Instead, people are increasingly placing their trust in decentralized, peer-to-peer -peer platforms like Airbnb, Uber, and other sharing economy businesses. This shift reflects a change in the way people evaluate trustworthiness, relying more on user-generated reviews, ratings, and social connections than on institutional credentials. Trust in strangers, with the proliferation of online platforms, people are now more willing to trust strangers than ever before. This trust is often built through transparent and accessible information, such as user reviews, ratings, and social media presence. Botsman argues that this new form of trust is both fragile and powerful, as it can be easily damaged but also has the potential to create strong connections between individuals who have never met in person. Reputation capital 
In the digital age, reputation has become a valuable form of social currency. Platforms like LinkedIn, Yelp, and Airbnb allow individuals and businesses to build a digital reputation based on the experiences and opinions of others. This reputation capital can be leveraged to access new opportunities, establish credibility, and foster trust in a way that was not possible before the internet. The role of technology in building trust, Botsman emphasizes that technology is not inherently trustworthy or untrustworthy, it's merely a tool that can enable or hinder trust depending on how it is used. She argues that designers and developers have a responsibility to create systems that facilitate trust, rather than exploit it for profit or other gains. The need for a new trust framework, as our reliance on digital platforms continues to grow, Botsman calls for the development of a new framework to understand and assess trust in the digital age. This framework should account for the ways in which trust is built, maintained and lost online, and help individuals and businesses navigate the complexities of the digital landscape. In conclusion, Rachel Botsman's work on trust in the digital age demonstrates how the concept of trust has evolved in response to new technologies and online platforms. Her insights highlight the importance of understanding and fostering trust in our increasingly interconnected world. Thank you for watching.